What's up? What's up, Zikhuff? <laughs> Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Jar Media Podcast. Woo! Ooh, yeah. Oh my god, you guys are so high energy because you just drank caffeine and I didn't, so I'm just like. I didn't drink caffeine, this is a idiot. Hole. Before we talk about caffeine, let's just uh, shout out to the patrons over Shout pa- out, actually shout it, idiot. To the, uh, actually shout it, to the whisper pat- it. To the patrons over at patreon.com. It's not a UK website. It's not .co.uk. It's a it's a it's an international website. And shout out to legends who buy the jar merch, which of course is available. Oh yes, absolute legends they are. Wouldn't I say, lads? The irony yeah. level's gone too far, lads. Anyway, I'm Alex. I'm Jamie. I'm Jamie. <sighs> I don't think we've ever done that properly. Yeah. What what number episode is it? One eighty four. Fucking three. One eighty three. Episode 183. You have no clue, do you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm wearing a white t-shirt, so I look nice and chubby. I've noticed. That's the thing on about top of white. the fact that I'm kind of chubby. You want to wear black if you want to look sleek and, and thin if you're not. And you don't want to wear white if you're scared yeah, of Yeah, because of shadows. Yeah. See, white don't do that for me. Shadows? I literally look the same in white as I do black. Grey, though, I actually look different in grey. Don't know why. Let's explain. <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, there's no difference, really. I was wearing the jar shirt. The J. J for jar mm-hmm. shirt. It's grey, red. Walked by me and I was just like, yeah, I actually look bigger than I am. But otherwise, I just look normal. Oh, nice. Mm. Nice, yes. I actually look like a human for once. Don't be down yes. on yourself. I'm not. This is a body positive episode of the bo- Jar Media J- Podcast. Jamie, Jamie, I'm the one who's accepted my body more than anyone. Well, everyone gets embarrassed about their bitch tits every now and again. Yeah. But like... At the end of the, genuinely, I'm caring less and less about anything appearance-wise now, as I get older. Yeah, I've been caring less, but recently I started caring more. Oh. But why do you, why care more? Because I'm wearing purple socks. Purple socks are kind of nice. Yeah, agreed. Purple. Thank you. Underrated color. One of the best colors. It's it my favorite good. color. It's not underrated. It's the best color. No, it looks Everybody good loves on purple. Name one person that has said, "Yeah, purple. Don't like it." They might not wear it, but nobody dislikes yeah, but it. Yeah, but how often do you see thing- purple things? You don't. That's because men's fashion is depends fucking m- boring. Depends how much you play a GTA San Andreas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Turn that purple g- green, baby. We have some housekeeping, by the way. A um, couple mean, things we need to address. First of all, I saw a couple comments that were um, commenting on my uh, my haircut. And I need to address this because there is this weird... My hair is really blonde, right, to those listening. It's not really blonde. Well, it's blonde, point being. No, you're and when I, when I, blonde. No, fucking listen. When I, when I sit in the host seat, it's like from the side. And because of the way the lights shine on my head, it makes my blonde hair look non-existent for some reason on each side. Yeah. So it looks like I have a, a, a one or a zero cut on the sides. And just have left loads of like mess on the top, and it looks really bizarre on some of the cast episodes. Um, so that's the main reason. It looks a bit different in real life. Just wanted to address that one. Your hair is quite. Yeah, bad. I mean, like my hair looks completely different in real life. Like pe- yeah. people keep saying they can't even see my afro. The the camera just changes things, and the lighting in here is really yeah. weird. So we all look quite different and strange. I know you might be able to see on the cast like it looks like I have grey hair, and I do actually have grey hair. Also. People don't seem to pick on, up on the fact that James is from Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's mentioned multiple times that he came from, like, a family of slaves, so, like... Exactly. Were, were there Thailand slaves? No, they were Mongolian. Idiot. <laughs> uh, the other thing, of course, is that I was in... What's it called again? The town of Sainsbury's. Mm. <laughs> which Salisbury. Is, yeah, which is near... Uh, Stonehenge to those who aren't familiar with it's, did English. You, um, did you um? Did you get any Nova? Uh, did you get poisoned by the Russians by any chance? No, I did go through that town, but oh. apparently I was spotted though 
by Jarling. The Jarling, the Jarling being Akpan, who's a long time Jar supporter. And apparently he said hi to me, um, but it was in like a busy city of loads of people around, and I wasn't. Also, I was just looking at fish. You really don't like Akpan as well. <laughs> no, this is what Jim's Alex. Joking, of course. This is how you spot an Alex in the wild. If they're standing on the bridge looking at some ducks, it's Alex. No, I was looking at fish actually. Ooh. Well, I was I was paraphrasing from the actual comment <laughs> on the jar Reddit, you idiot. Yeah, but yeah, I I wasn't even thinking. So I would have just thought, oh, someone else is talking to someone. And so yeah. See, I'm like that. If someone's it's like, oh, James. It's because you don't like, walk around like expecting for people to like recognize and notice. Yeah. It's like, oh, I do. I always expect <laughs> it when I walk anywhere. Yeah, strutting my stuff. So yeah, shout out to Akpan. If any, if anyone notices us, don't be scared of us. We're probably way more scared of you. Yeah, hundred percent. Definitely. Yeah. I ain't gonna um, talk. I'm you are the spiders of, of uh, the the earth. Mm-hmm. We're the spiders of the earth. Hmm. Jarcast, the spiders of the <laughs> other other thing of note. Um, some jarlings were they wanted to hear us address the the what has happened with this pro Jared thing? Because a few weeks ago we did an episode about pro Jared and all of that drama with his wife and it was he was cheating or whatever. I can't, you know. That whole thing. Yeah. Just Google it if you don't know. Everyone fucking knew. But he recently uploaded a, a an apology video. It's like 40 minutes long. Yeah. Addressing everything that went down. Haven't watched all of it. I'm not willing to give... I've watched most of it. Oh, awesome. Good. You can yeah. talk about it. Because like it gets to... I'm, I'm so like... Like this with my time. I've got like the, the weights. It's like the... Watch 40 minute Pro Jared video or continue playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm -hmm. And normally. For the fifth time. That's really. That's only my second. And normally it swings into fuck it, just play Red Dead. Yeah. So I did watch a few minutes and I was like, yeah, I get it. And I think Jarlings wanted us to address it because we went in pretty hard on him in our normal jar jokey way. Yeah. But Uh, are apologies in order? Question mark. Tell me from the video, because I don't really fucking. I, I don't, don't remember watch it. what we said. We may. I think the, the the only thing that I would say <laughs> maybe we would do differently is like we made fun of him quite a lot. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, we did. yeah but again, for how he looked. That's for funny sake. I mean, yeah, he didn't mean a word of it, Jared. We're sorry. But look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I mean, I I said it in that video. I ain't no Brad Pitt. You know. Yeah, I hope people know we're just joshing. We yeah. don't mean anything. No, but like, I don't. I don't think anything he did was right per se. Hmm. But I mean, it's it's just the fact of like, it's it didn't need to be so public. Yeah. And the whole cancel culture thing. Mm-hmm. Like losing I, subs and stuff. That because that's always what it becomes. It's not even about what they did. More so, it's like, well, I, look at the result of what they did. Look at these yeah. subs. It's like a, it's like a way of measuring drama. It's like yeah. this person lost this many subs, and this person lost this many subs from their mm-hmm. thing, and which means, like, depending on the loss of subs, means the, the event was more, worthy of being dramatic and over the top. But he he said it in the video, like, um, people, on they, they don't care because what he did was wrong. They care because it's en- entertainment for them. Yeah. Like, they, they do not give a flying fuck. Do you know what it's like? It's like, it would always bug me when I'd see people do this in, like, secondary school or primary school. When someone who normally everyone ignores or something, like, gets hurt. They fall over. They're, like, in tears or something. And then there's this, th- this certain thing, like... People who would normally be like dicks or mm. were assholes or like the stereotypical bullies and shit just go over and like really overdo the like, oh, are you okay, man? Really? Like, there's mm-hmm. a certain way of doing it. Obviously, it's helping not, people's nice, but it's, it's like this weird, false sort of. Yeah. Why are you doing, are you doing this points. to help or are, you, or are you doing it to look good? And it, yeah. It's that same kind of philosophy where these people are like, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm a part of something. I can put someone down who like. I can I can put I can go on a I can stand on a soapbox basically and be like, 
on Twitter, this is fucking unacceptable, I cannot, and you know nothing about the fucking guy. No one knows anything about this guy beyond his, his videos and like mm -hmm. some tweets that people are tweeting about him. And I think I said when we all talked about it the first time, like, the truth is just muddy in the middle somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what I got from his video. It was mostly him just um, refuting points that people had made. Because mm. it was never... It, he didn't really deny anything. But he just yeah. he just tried to point out the truth Yeah. part of it. Which is, I mean, all he could really do. Yeah. Because when you're when when you have that much hate thrown at you, it's really hard to but it, spin it around. It was interesting. Um, reading the comments, that was the interesting part. Because mm. everyone was like, "It's been weaponized in the opposite way." That's the only reason I'm even talking about it is because so many people <coughs> were commenting saying like, "Are they gonna like address Pro Jared after this awesome apology he's put out and stuff?" I mean, like, it, I never really cared in the first place, and yeah. I don't really care now. We were only just talking about it because we knew we could get some funnies out of it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. I will say, though, the, the, like, the thing he was wearing, not a big fan. He's wearing, like, a weird jumper. Oh, in, in his apology video. Yeah. I think his jumper. I didn't dig it. Okay. That was my main takeaway. Yeah. Everyone's forgotten about it by now, anyway, so. Yeah. What funny th thing did this Donald This is why Trump I love say? that film Gone Girl so much. It's about this exact yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And how each side is different from the way it's presented in media and yeah. all that. Great movie if you haven't seen it. I'm sure you have. But. Another bit of housekeeping that I can't believe I forgot to bring up last week, but it's on, it's on, on more YouTuber-related stuff. Um, D Dylan the fucking hacker is the dead? Hmm. He's not a YouTuber, per se. Well, well, I mean that's kind of he's he's known in the YouTube landscape, of course, because of his feu his feud with PewDiePie. He's he, he's a four he came from 4chan. He's, a, he's everyone knew him because of 4chan. Well, I knew him because he made YouTube videos and they were fucking funny. <clears throat> Jim Jim remembers I would just sit there watching Dylan the Hacker because I found him yeah. so funny. I was on his channel for God's sake. I DM the guy. Damn. Now he's dead. <laughs> Is he actually? Well, yeah. like. The, the, it's it's floaty and it still could come out like it was a big prank or anything, but supposedly it's real. Like Daily Mail has written articles on it. Um, that, I've that seen literally multiple has ones. No credibility when Daily yeah, but like <laughs> you know what I mean though. They're reporting on on it to the point where they're just there is some. Back. There's either some huge troll going on or he's, he's, he did die. No well, one. we won't know the truth. Not uh, if it is a troll. I don't agree with that, really. I mean, it, I wouldn't normally either, but... <laughs> and it, that's the thing, it's Dylan the Hacker. The it thing would is, be the ultimate troll. Yeah, but, like, the boy who cried wolf much. Hmm. Like, I mean, if if he is dead, fucking hell. Yeah. And we don't even believe it. Well, it's hard to actually know. Yeah, I'm sure he, anyone out there can point us towards any more evidence that has come out, but... And, like... He was just a kid, right? Yeah, early 20s or so. Yeah, man. Don't know what he died of or something, but um, rest in peace if it if it's true. And if not, man, that's the troll of the century. Yeah, well, let's hope it's a troll. I'd prefer it to be that way. We don't want to see Dylan go. No. He made this awesome video. Because back in the day when he was making all these like hate videos about PewDiePie and shit, um... And getting loads of views from it. He must have got enough views and ad money to where he'd got a few paychecks from it. And he uploaded this video where he was like <laughs> bragging about how he'd been able to buy a PS4 mm -hmm. with the AdSense. And he was like holding it up to the camera and he was like, you bought this. Oh, this is great. <laughs> you, <laughs> you gave me this. I want to thank everyone for... It was a great video. I love that it's kind of genius. humor. Where it's just like <laughs> really rubbing it into these people that just keep coming back to hate on him. Sorry to change the subject, considering it might be a, quite a serious one, but Pro Jared's apology video did have like 20 adverts in it. Oh, did so it? It had a fair few. When I, I mean, looked 20 at it, it might have ads on it. It, but, yeah. it definitely did when I watched it. Well... So, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Do it. That's clearly what he thought. We knew it was going to get loads of traffic too. 
so you probably made a few grand off it. Might as well. Yeah. yeah. Ring yeah. his channel for what what he can. Yeah. To be honest. Is he gonna start uploading again? I don't or? know. Well he was like kicked out of game grumps and mm. uh normal boots or whatever. Oh yeah. Actually he I think he voluntarily you can always, left. You can boots. no matter what drama you experience on YouTube, you can always start again and not be and be unaffected. Well it depends. I think like Lion the, Maker tried, who was the Minecraft sort of alleged paedophile. Um, oh, yeah. And he he properly vanished because like, <laughs> that was a bit far. Mm. No, but he wasn't the same level as Pro Jared, though, was he? That's what I'm saying. Like Pro Jared is more debatable. There's more to talk about. Mm -hmm. Whereas when it gets to stuff like that, that Minecraft guy, it can be a bit. You've sort of had your chance here. No one really wants you here anymore. Go away. Especially when it's like little kiddie stuff. Well, Pro Jared allegedly. That's the thing, like, I I only surface level read about the whole pro Jared incident, so, uh, and I can't really remember any of it, because it's all like... Whatever. Well, he sort of refutes that, but also sort of doesn't. It's weird. That's, like, a another conversation in and of itself, is, like, is it, like, horribly immoral to do what he did on Tumblr? Um, which was, like, receive nudes from... 18 plus girls or something yeah i mean it's quite it's he, weird he but said like, um in the video it's, it's, not a, it's a power imbalance yeah which is true mm -hmm. but it's just like I, I i don't even know how tumblr works so yeah me neither i'm not even gonna try to understand what happened there yeah <sighs> all you can really go off is is the law and i think he's actually in the clear in terms of yeah the legalities and he's not going to be charged yeah. for anything but that's different to public perception mm -hmm. you know like once you're charged for something like especially with the things he's been charged with those are the ones people will forget like the old murder here and there yeah like, especially with like celebrities and stuff like um what's his what's his face loads of celebrities have killed yeah, people. loads of them yeah just google it celebrities who have killed people you'd be surprised no one cares. Fucking Inspector Gadget? Yeah, Inspector Gadget, cause kill people. Um, uh, Caitlyn Jenner, is that her name? Yeah. Yep. She cute. Ran someone over. Yeah, there's all sorts like that. Oh, dude, and it just keeps going. This is a fucking downer episode, but listen to this. I, ha I had to bring this. It we talk about Skyrim a lot on the fucking Jarcast. Oh, Jesus. And something has happened in the world of Skyrim that has made me just say, I, I can't defend you anymore, Skyrim. This, this, this is over. It's like a message from the gods. <laughs> oh, the, the, the funny thing is as well, I was just starting to think, I feel like playing Skyrim on my really? Switch again. And then, anyway, explain. I'll let you explain so, the story. So, um, allegedly, again, I'm just... I'm just reporting on what I've heard. I'm not fucking Keemstar over here. This supposed is, to be researching. This is alleged, isn't it? Yeah. There's nothing concrete. But um, the composer, Jeremy Sewell, I think it's pronounced or something. Sewell, I don't know. Has been alleged to have uh, sexually abused some of his uh, female co-workers in the past. <laughs> There's like a huge blog post where this, where the victim um, describes like all of it. And it's like, what the fuck? This is, this is pretty hardcore. What's yeah. going on here? Where he was talking about how like... He would tell her that he like needs, he needs sex with women to inspire his music because music's inherently sexual well, yeah, was, and stuff like that. He was doing music for an indie developer, I think, mm. and someone from the dev team was a woman that he wanted to. So, like, I guess he pressured her in that way, mm. like I'll, allegedly. I'll make music for your game. Yeah. If, yeah, allegedly. But yeah, the it doesn't look good for him. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there was more than one person yeah, coming the, out against him too. More came out after the original one. But it's like, <laughs> for fuck's sake, Skyrim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the, the one the one thing I would always defend is like, the music at least is really atmospheric and captures the mood of that world. <laughs> now, um, I, I have like a work playlist for when I'm like writing or editing mm -hmm. and stuff. And, when, and a Skyrim um, song came on and I was like, nope, mm -hmm. can't do it anymore. 
It's just now I just associate it with that, and it's too. I just imagine his like logic of like music's inherently sexual, and yeah. while uh, while listening to like the stupid music from Skyrim, uh, <laughs> I'm just like, Ugh. no thanks. That's that's such bullshit though. Music is inherently sexual. If he did say that, what a cunt. <laughs> So what? What a would creeper! You, would you never play Skyrim again because of it? Well, I'd never play Skyrim again. Well, I might. <laughs> I'll never say never. But I'm saying I don't really want to listen to the music for the time being, because it's just making me think of this recent drama over him. Okay. So I'm not, I don't associate it with Skyrim anymore as now as I just associate it with women being. Abused. <laughs> what about Michael Jackson? Will you listen to Michael Jackson? Um, again, like I've had Michael Jackson songs come on, and I'm just like, this is just too weird for me now. Like it's it's distracting to the point where I can't even pay attention mm -hmm. properly to what is happening in the music. So, but then like, uh, where do you draw that line with that kind of thing? I know it's <laughs> near if you, impossible. If you draw one line, you've got to draw the line with every single piece of media ever produced. Well, I don't think that's true though, because like. You can, there, there is a way you can remove it from, you know, remove the art from the artist or whatever. If it is something that like really connects with you, because you're not, you're not celebrating the, the person abusing someone. You're celebrating something the person who has happened to abuse someone has created. Like, they're not mutually well. They are mutually exclusive. Where you can still be talented and be a murderer and be, you know. It's it's impossible. It's so tricky. And the thing is, like, just because there is all that matters is that you know what they did. Mm. Because I'm sure there's so many artists that have gotten away with the most heinous of crimes. Yeah, basically, I would never blame if if someone's reasoning for not wanting to engage in a piece of art is is for something like that. Then I'd never be like, yeah, you're wrong or something. I'd be yeah. like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but this, but vice versa as well. Yeah, you shouldn't. If someone still chooses to enjoy it because they really, it's, it's it. when people try to like defend it just because they like the music. Yeah, that's right. that's worse. Like with Chris Brown or Tentacion. Yeah, that was one that's. I a think bit. the way I draw a line is like with music specifically, like Chris Brown. It's mainly his his stuff he makes, so it's only him. But with a game, it's like there's like hundreds mm, of people. That's involved. a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's the like, same with Michael Jackson, where it's like a person. No, but like he, he didn't make the music by himself. No, no of I don't. Not. I don't but think he even he's wrote the main the songs. But he's the product, is James's point. Yeah, I know. But like, I'm saying you can listen to Chris Brown, just don't. Like act like what he did was fine because his music is good because you mm -hmm. don't want to believe that yeah. he did a bad thing. Personally, I I draw the I draw the line. If it's like Chris Brown, I won't ever consume anything Chris Brown makes and any other artist who's done those type of things. Full stop. I don't consume any of media. Well, we're not missing. Well, I mean, I don't listen to his music because it's shite. I had like a, <laughs> yeah, I'm a gym. <laughs> like a few months ago, I went for really. Uh, I just I I cut all nine inch nails because he's got like a history of like racism and shit. So I was just like, yeah. Not gonna drop in that, because I just I'm not I'm not gonna consume. Well, you're never gonna listen to Nin ever again. No, I have because it's just like <laughs> when you find out that. But that, but that was also what I'm saying is like where do you draw the line? Because every one of these celebrities has, if it's not like horrific drug stuff, it's sex stuff, it's money laundering, it's anything. Just being a cunt in general. Yeah. I wouldn't say, like, if someone is a drug I'm not gonna stop listening to their music because that's their choice. They're not hurting anyone. But there are people out there that will. You know, really not you know like that sort of thing, and we'll stop listening. To that that struggle not, to find a that's not how I draw the line. But uh, that's my point: is like everyone draws the line slightly differently based on things yeah, they yeah. like and don't like. Like, imagine if you were like a hardcore Christian and you found out like someone in like a Christian rock group that you really had loved had sex, had had sex out of wedlock, or like was a hardcore drug addict or something, and or or you had friends who said pussy too much. Yeah, exactly. Then maybe they would be like, well, I suppose I shouldn't listen to this anymore, really. It might make me think about having a wank independently. <laughs> independently? Yeah. But yeah. We all draw our lines. And I've drew, I've drew mine.
it's just yeah it's 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 fine until it affects something you care about <laughs> cuz it's like yeah. Yeah, i don't give a shit about pro jared or or uh chris brown well, or tentacion you know, or any of these people for example, none of us ever consumed that in the first place it wouldn't affect us cuz we were never part of the demographic for it mm. doesn't mean we don't care it's just like that's we just didn't, don't but care yeah there much. there are certain ones where like the kevin spacey one for me was like oh, for fuck's sake yeah. Like I was on your side, Kevin Spacey. Now there's no possible way I could. And that's one where I have been like <laughs> like I just can't in the same way. Like mm-hmm. it will always be slightly distracting, even yeah. as good of a performer as he is and with how good some of the movies he's in are. It will always just be really distracting and creepy now. Baby Driver's <laughs> a good movie though. <laughs> Luckily he's not in Baby Driver that much. Yeah, that movie could have been fucking shite if it came out after the controversy, or if it like just a, flopped completely. Or if like mm. a Fast and Furious director directed that movie, can you imagine how bad it would be? Well, but if it did Jason it Statham in it. Could have been good. Yeah. Hey, you you hate on Fast. I watched Fast the first Fast and Furious the other day. Surprisingly, it's, it's the best one by far. A hundred percent. Because it's just got this... Seven's the best one. No, no, because it's not action. It's The first one it's, is, it is so action. innocent and good. I love it. Is Vin Diesel really good in it and acting? Really he well? actually acts. He actually has some some personality in it compared to the I other I feel one. like this is that thing where you're trying to make a case for it, but if you sat down and watched it with us... We'd with Alex, I watched <laughs> it recently and was just giggling at everything because it's so yeah. shit. Ugh. Reasons? Reasons. Do we have any funny funnies before our... Um, um, well, yes, uh, recently I've been playing War Thunder. And Nobody I've got... gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck! Coming from you. Oh, Moonlight, it's a really fun game and I've been spending some time playing it. Oh, I like it. Yeah, well, before we go to the break, is there anything um, we've listened to or watched or anything like that? that uh, Taylor I'm... Swift's new album, pretty good. I'm enjoying that. So you actually listened to it all the way through? Yes, I've listened to Lover all the way through. There's three Who's songs. Album? Lover. Taylor Swift's. Oh. Three songs, pretty Have good. Have you listened to her albums before? No. It's the first one you listened to. Yeah. Let's do a quick um, Ariana Grande album review as well while the... Uh, What's uh, Thank You Next? Great album, like a lot of songs on it. Got them in my playlist. I've never heard any of her songs before. Yes, you thank have. you, next. Thank you. Is that how next. it goes? Yes. Thank <laughs> you, next. Yeah, I've never heard it. I'm so fucking grateful for oh, my, my ex. ex. Thank, thank you. Thank you, next. next. I'm so grateful for my ex. Yeah, because he killed himself. No. I'm pretty sure it's a thing, in case of you're thankful because you learned a lot from breaking up with them. Yeah, but also one of her exes killed killed himself. Wait, is that wait. true? Yeah. Yeah, Mac she, Miller. Yeah. So they were gonna get married, and then they broke up, and then he had an, a drug overdose. Is he yeah, like an female. asshole or something? Why no. would she be saying that in a song? Or are you? Really no, it's it? it's it, the the song is her like moving on, saying that she's thankful for dating him. Oh, okay. but all God. of her exes. Right. You know. Oh well, no. Yeah, kind of. She calls him shit in it, but yeah, pretty much. I'd have to listen to the song again, I can't remember. So it must be really great then. It's a great song, it's a banger. In the car, in the summer windows down, going through Anthony town. Fantano yeah. gave it gave the album like an eight out of ten, so it must be good. What the Oh Melonhead, oh I love Melonhead. It's not really something I'm What about Lana Del Rey's new album? Anybody I haven't listened to any Lana. That one on? I've not listened to a single I reckon you'd love Lana. Lana. I probably yeah, would. you would if you I like Taylor Swift and Yeah. Lana. Also you're an edgy queen. Actually, no, I have, think I... I think I have listened to one of her songs. But I was like, I can't remember what, though. Quite some time ago. Well, you heard, you heard one of them, you've heard all of them, really. Isn't it? So. <laughs> oh, dear. Banging. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> I don't want to listen to any of these people, I don't... Yeah, because you're so... Yeah, you're, well, I mean, women, such, right? You've got such a closed-minded music taste. It's not true. You do. I know I don't like it, because I've listened to it. Oh, because it's... Honestly, Alex just doesn't like women that sing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. Women are very good at music. 
Jeremy Renner's new new song though, pretty good. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Me, Andy. Me have songs for sale. Check the description below. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. I'm so fucking fuck you, bitch. Hello. This is the part. Two. <laughs> no, the part where we answer questions from the r r r edit. Yeah. Head over to uh R slash Jar Media. Drop us a question in the suggestions thread and we will answer it if we like the question. Yeah, you can do that on your phone like James. Yeah, do it right now. James. Unless your name is James. Are you dropping us a question or? Yeah, I'm dropping you a question right now. God, this fucker. This fucker. Start us off with someone, bro. <sighs> give us give us one. What did you want to be when you were younger, job-wise? That's from uh, Grey Tickles. I'm an archaeologist. That's true. You did. Alex was so obsessed with dinosaurs. Yeah. It's just like... I still am. No, I, you aren't. I got James's answer. Because I know what... Oh no! You, no, no. James wanted to be a professional drifter. Yeah, who still doesn't? Does. That's just a racing driver there, and I well, still do. The funny thing was, you said you wanted to be a drifter, and when the, a drifter the, is typically someone that drifts from like city well, to city. Back oh, back oh, then, course, yeah. back then, professional drifting was like here, and now it's like fucking ten times bigger. International sport. Really? Yeah, it's huge. Well, yeah, in that Netflix like show we watched, it was about drifting pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking. Can't huge. But it's I also called. have one that I learned before James wanted to be that, and this was a sniper in the military. James wanted to. I was. Damn, I, you I, wanted to be a military man, dog. I did. Back yeah. then, I was. You wanted to. I was a military boy. You wanted to snipe innocent um, Islamic children. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be because because uh, of uh, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty. Yeah, I was a I was a military kid. I would just, I'd go home after school, play play war games, and consume documentaries about tanks and planes. But isn't that crazy, though, that, like, the, the power of games and Video movies games and shit. shit. Like, I it, wanted to be an archaeologist because of Jurassic Park. Yeah. James wanted to join the fucking army because of a video game where you shoot guns. What about you? Um, I wanted to be a wizard in the wizarding school of Harry Potter. No, I wanted to be a police officer because of Robocop. <coughs> Did you actually? That really whole fucking scene where it just gets <laughs> slaughtered. <laughs> do you know I, what's weird? I've actually. never had a single like thing where I've just thought, man, I want to do that. Apart from the... Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> what? No, every kid says that. What? To be, every kid wants to be a vet. A singing vet? <laughs> no, that's complete horseshit that you fabricated to make At least our fabricate. parents make fun of me. <laughs> That's such an Alex I didn't thing, make though. that up though, did I, James? You remember him saying that? No. And then... Yeah, yeah see? That. You completely fabricated that complete fucking horse shit. And I've never horse, heard the end of it. Horse vet. Nice Zing. Rick and Morty reference. <laughs> what? Horse surgeon. Uh, you made up the Rick and Morty reference, nah. not me. You know what, though? You know what? What? Isn't it just fucking crazy how we grew up with video games? I literally grew up playing war games. That's fucking wild. We I, we weren't allowed growing up. Yeah. My I remember when I, I think care. I was in year seven, you borrowed Bioshock from a friend. Mm -hmm. And you were going around like smacking dudes with a wrench, <laughs> killing them. <laughs> yeah. That's actually the first time and I saw Bioshock as well. Was really? That yeah. My mum was like, I don't like it. Turn it off. Get mm. rid of it. Yeah. And then I gave and it It really back. pissed me off. I was like, sorry. She was funny about Grand Theft Auto as well. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to play that until I was 15 or 16. Luckily. Which sucked, I remember. That like, was Grand Theft Auto like five times, pretty much. By then. Yeah, no. Um, when that came out. No, because yeah. she let me play Red Dead. Because mm -hmm, Cowboys. Dead yeah. More innocent from a parent's perspective. Well, yeah, because they think you just go around like... Well, because Grand Theft not Auto has been, been in the news. Murdering them. And the name is literally yeah. a crime. So... <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, I wanted to be a professional Grand Theft auto when I grew up, hmm. or when I was younger. Then I had the weird phase of wanting to be like a games developer because everyone who was interested in games wanted to be a game dev. 
and then you realize it's the literally the most dog shit career you could ever have underpaid yeah. work like 100 hours a month a week you're just fun. to hope that you'll get, get your paycheck the, get to the top one day and then you're going to be then you'll probably get involved in like a sex swing or something <laughs> yeah, okay. a few sex rings. Yeah. You, you probably get soul. sexually assaulted sex by someone. Rings. It's it's terrible. Worst career. Don't ever go into game dev, unless you're weird. No, we need some of them. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Uh. I actually wanted to be a vet at some point as well. See every <laughs> fucking kid because vet kid, astronaut like, kids firefighter. Like, yeah. Kids like animals. So let's kill them, basically. Yeah. Well, you don't think about that part. You think, oh, help the animals. Well, I was going to say that. Like, look at the those three careers we said. What? Vets? Uh, 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 someone in the army doing what they do in modern warfare. Yeah. An archaeologist. And what did you say? Just a vet, was it? Yeah. Um, and the reality of all of them. Whereas, like, a vet is like a money grubbing like fuck the yeah. way of using our love of animals to be mm -hmm. able to milk people dry of their money yeah and then fucking murder the animal at the end of the yeah world. and, and they sucked every archaeologists are like they're totally underpaid and like <laughs> no money in the in the job really and the soldiers are just paid to go die quite literally well yeah the horrors of war and all that yeah and here we are. Funny times, eh? Um, this has been a, just a, a, a gut-busting. No, we've got a good one. one. It's this kind a, of this is a negative though from what we've done previously. This is positive. We've got kind of a role play. Oh yes. No. This is by, um, cap. Stash DK. Mm -hmm. um, the Jarcast just won the first ever Grammy for best podcast. Oh yeah. Make please. a speech. So what I got first? You'd go. No, you that. Only one person makes a speech, so it's you. Just me. Yeah, you. you so no, we're you, all stood there. We're all stood there, but Alex can speech because I've got, I'm nervous in front of all these celebrities. Like, <laughs> in front of Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande. Yeah. Jealous they didn't get their fucking podcast <laughs> award. I want him taken down. Okay. No, Kanye comes on stage. <laughs> I think Joe Rogan had the best podcast. <laughs> <laughs> So clap me in then, as if it's actually happening. Yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Woo! Ooh, yeah. And okay, I'll hold like this cup as if it's the Emmy. Grammy. Wow. Grammy, Grammy you, you fucking idiot. But okay. Different award. Wow, this is an actual <laughs> Grammy I'm holding. Thanks so much for this opportunity. Uh, pussy diarrhea. <laughs> boo, boo. <laughs> That's actually what would happen as, as we walk on stage. Fuck off, boo. I, it would have to be like, I'd have to choose a tact. I'd have to, okay, be genuine or use this immense opportunity to I know. do a joke. We have James as we're going up the stairs. James falls over, fucking cracks his head on the stairs. <laughs> Becomes like a vegetable for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah. And then we're like, well, done. Sue the company. Yeah. For having like a cable that <laughs> tripped me up. <laughs> no, <it got> loaded. <laughs> but then it turns out it was actually all makeup and effects. Yeah, it was a ruse the whole time. And we yeah. just escaped to well, I'm North Korea. Well, I'm thinking um, more like going up on stage and then either be wearing something really weird or... The dinosaur costume. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Come out with the inflated dinosaur thing and then give like a really serious speech where I cry. Yeah. Do you think you would cry if we won the first ever podcast Grammy? <laughs> I'd cry. If I was wearing the dino costume and it would be like classic, yeah, I would. <laughs> bring out a little, bring a little pipette of, of water and put it under my eyes backstage. Yeah. Right, gotta be ready. Pump my my eyelids full of tears. So we what? just walk out holding flashlights as well. <laughs> <laughs> <in each> <laughs> um F three four three one asked uh, what's your favourite cheese and why would it make a useful weapon? My favourite cheese <laughs> is the cheese they, they the the great traditional cheese that you roll down a hill. Is that? Do you know the name of said cheese? 
It's just a wheel. It's just a fucking bowl of cheese, isn't it? <laughs> bowl of cheese. Well, yeah, but have you seen how fast that thing goes? I guess that, in terms of a weapon, yeah, that's quite good. That's good. Alex, um, I personally am a big fan of um, of oh. brie. Brie's good. Brie's good. And brie. It, and it's already in like a triangle kind of sharp arrowhead yeah. shape already. So just oh, put it on I the end of a stick. One good use for brie. If there's anyone in a car that you hate and they're being a dick, just throw che- throw brie at their windscreen. It smashes, it goes everywhere and they can't see. Oh, and if it melts a bit onto the windscreen, never yeah. coming off. Exactly. Um, good, good, good advice. That throw brie. I quite at like uh, applewood. Oh, applewood's a good one. Yeah. Um, I quite like mexicana. Yeah, mexicana's um, a good one. Obviously, cheddar. You have to shout out cheddar. And mozzarella. Delish. Yeah, mozzarella doesn't get enough cred. Mm-hmm. No, mozzarella is my favourite cheese because I don't like cheese. Um, none of them would make a good weapon. What an ignorant and foolish thing to do. No, bring. with with mozzarella, if you have it melted and it kind of stretches, you can make like a web and like web someone with mozzarella, stretch it all over them, stick them to like a wall, like a spider, ready for later. Right. So you're saying you'll you'll be Spider Man, but shoots um, real Spider Man mozzarella. Brie is the best weapon. Because if someone hit you through a fucking massive chunk of brie at you, it'd fucking hurt. That's a well, good idea for a movie. Most cheeses would hurt. No, but brie just kind of just... Brie's just... softer than cheddar. Yeah, it was, it, that's why it's, it's worse. Because no, that speed, it's going to fucking hurt. Everything does Do you not smell. like my movie idea? You didn't even say it. L- l- based on that Spider-Man mozzarella bullshit. Because, you know, there, there's that movie that came out this year called Brightburn, which is like, what if Superman came down, but he was evil and w- wanted to hurt people? And what if it was Spider-Man, but it was more like Jeez. a David Cronenberg, like the fly mm. type situation, where he actually starts doing spider-like activities. Yeah, with cheese. How creepy that could be. People, like, walk in like it a spider. It exists. It's called movie. The Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> You're weirdly right, actually. Yeah, I remember the, watching that movie. The, the, the like, first Amazing was... Spider-Man has scenes that really show how creepy Spider-Man could be. Yeah. If done so incompetently bad as was done in those movies. <laughs> yeah. Um, average cinema goer. We said, uh, "What's the un- unluckiest thing that's happened to each of you?" Meeting Jamie and Alex. That's funny because someone replied saying James. Damn. Oh shit. What's the question? The unluckiest. Yeah. Um. Hmm. It's not really something you really attach yourself to unless you have had an insane string of bad luck. Yeah. I had a a bird pill on my head once. It's quite unlucky. I recently was wearing a new shirt just leaving this house, and a a shit landed on my shoulder. Of the new shirt. Fucking seagull or something. That was shit. See, it's the type of thing where nothing pops into my head, but I'm sure there are loads of times where I've been like, this has been a weirdly unlucky string of events right yeah, now. Yeah, but, I but define down. unlucky as well. Because, like, there's... Well, yeah. There's making, like, I... Uh, we talked about it probably last episode of the episode before, whenever we talked about the most painful injuries. Yeah, yeah that's unlucky. The, the burn on my hand. Mm-hmm. But like, is that unlucky? Because you did. It doesn't it. count as luck. Yeah, though, that does was it? me that put my hand there. That's more of an accident, I'd say. Yeah, but it's not lucky to do that. Is that un? Well, luck, lucky. I guess if we're gonna break it down that much, luck doesn't really exist, does does it? Well, no. We doesn't. just interpret luck as like, um, <sighs> events that we're not a part of that we suddenly become a part of. And yeah. it's either lucky or not lucky. So I think the unluckiest thing is Argy getting meningitis. That's actually a good, yeah. a good call. Because it is just like complete yeah. random. That, 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 that has whole to string, be actually. something random. It has to be something random that you have no control over that is bad for you. For yeah, it to be that, that's actually the perfect... Because you just reminded me. That was like the worst like four months. Because it was like... Mm-hmm. Um, my network at the time were trying to scam me and didn't pay me for three, right. four months. Yeah. Something, so I wasn't paid for like months. On top of that, Argy was diagnosed with meningitis. On top of that, um, I brought Max home as well. So I had this obese golden retriever on, on top of all that. Yeah, James answered it for me. That was my most unlucky time. 
as a 25 year old I'm sure there will be more in the future yeah I don't really have an answer to be honest I don't because there's nothing I can think of because everything that's happened has happened for a reason blow c- crashes mm-hmm. all that that's They've the all thing happened. yeah they're not luck they're just events yeah just things out of your control I guess is what it really means next uh If you could collab with any rapper, who would it be? Collab with any rapper? Yeah, I'm I'm struggling to find some right now. So just collab with any rapper. None of us rap. <laughs> oh, it, it it'd definitely be Chris Bar- Chris Barn and XX Tentacion. Um, collab in terms of for a funny, it would be funny to to do something with um. Kanye. Yeah. James? It's just a weird question. I don't know how I'm supposed to answer I'd say this. Tupac. Yeah. Ooh. I'd love to go on stage with Tupac's hologram. Yeah, Tupac. The, the question would be better if it was which rapper would you want on the Jarcast as a guest? Because that actually relates yeah, to something we actually biggie. do do. No, have, it be, have them be alive. <laughs> that kind of helps. Okay. Uh, Dr. Dre. Okay. Do you not think Dog. Kanye would be more interesting? No, Kanye would be super interesting. But Snoop Dogg would be great as I well. I think Snoop actually, because yeah, cause he has his own like YouTube channel. Yeah, and that's true. He's got. He pretty much Snoop does Dogg. a podcast. I'm sure. Um, uh, what's the Run the Jewels guy called? Killer Mike and LP. Killer Mike. No, yeah. Eminem? Eminem. I watched a movie that well, had K- him in. Killer Mike bad. and LP are, are the greatest collab. Hands down. What about um, Chocolate Cause, and Chili? Because they were both individual Ooh. and then they collabed. Boom. Isn't that how it normally works? Everyone's living their own life until they collide with Basically, another. Basically, RTJ 4 is coming out soon, so boom. Hype. You've been saying that for no, like but a it year actually now. is because they're fucking teasing it so yeah, much okay. now. Okay. Until yeah, that's fine. I'm singles. the biggest RTJ fan. Fuck yeah. Okay. You. Sure. Okay. okay sure. So fandom's measurable now, is it? Yeah. Always yeah. has been gamer. You're more of a gamer than me. I'm Fire not more of a gamer than you. When was the last time you played a game? Literally an hour ago. Oh. You finished fucking Fire Emblem Three Houses, dude. That's the game. Yeah, that's the fucking okay, weebiest game. No, no, no. What was the last game I finished before that? Yeah. Grand cool. Theft Auto Five when it first came out. <laughs> gamer. <laughs> I'm not a gamer. Um, I've got a horrible question here from Chongo underscore MD. Do it. Shoot it in. What's everyone's least favorite thing about each other? We've literally had this. The whole, would you change one thing about each No, other? this is different. Because yeah, my least, least favourite favorite. thing about James is the fact that he fucking hits me all the time. Mm, that's it really answer. hurts. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> Mine is when James says he has a topic, but he actually doesn't. Mm. And he no, just my, says my, that like, thing he always says. No, this like, applies yeah, to both of you. My topic is, uh, yeah. No, this applies to both of you. It's just the fact that if you've got no personal stake in something, you're not, you're not considerate about other people's time. That's horse shit. No, that it's not. Shit. That that's is complete genuine. fucking horse shit. No, that's genuine. No, that is horse shit. Okay, back up your statement then with a yeah. bit of evidence. We've literally done it. It's like we'll, we'll be trying to film the jar cast and I'll be like, I've got to do this after. And then you'll just be like, <laughs> it's not true. I a, never do uh, that. Yeah, that's uh, a GTA shit. montage or something. This has been some time since it last happened, though. Yeah, that I'm going to. That one's not fair to lump me in. Okay, either. okay. That's not go. fair to lump me in. Okay, something I. I Okay, what's the question again? I forgot. Something you don't like about... The, your least favourite thing about well, no, each of us. Even though, even if there's something I, I, I like least about you, I still like all of you, so it's just like, it doesn't matter. Well, what's your least favourite thing? I like everything about you, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like that Jim's stronger than me. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that Alex is stronger than me. (laughs) My least favourite thing about Jim is the fact that you can eat just an obscene amount and I can't. Because I actually need to eat an obscene amount. That's probably my least favourite thing about myself. Well, your appetite. Yeah. 
Jim will sit there and make just make an entire fucking bowl of pasta, like an entire pack, and just demolish it. And I'm just like, I need that in me to get fucking gain weight, and I can't do it. That's yeah, my least thing. Let's answer the question about ourselves. One thing we hate about ourselves the most. Um. <sighs> nothing. <laughs> well, I, I've, I've grown and I've accepted that you know I need to like myself so I just like everything about me but there's still things I like less and if I had to say it, it'd be my mentality yeah I was about to say that my the way my brain thinks is the thing I dislike the most I like how my brain thinks with some things but on others I'm like that's not gonna that's not good stop please over analyzing shit all the time oh, seeing yeah, things that, that aren't there I got past that I I really don't like the hallucinations I have. Hmm. Seeing the fucking... Mr... <laughs> Slender man fucking walking around. <laughs> not funny. That's schizophrenia, not, not part, funny. It's that's, not funny. That's but, not part of you, though, is it? It's not like a character. It's just like well, this current thing. It is if you have schizophrenia. Do no, I, I... I don't like... Um... How difficult it is for me to be open and honest yeah, about well, I could have that same thing my least favourite thing about Alex is the when we were on holiday he made me sleep on the airbed twice in a row why? do you want to explain <laughs> yourself Alex? uh <laughs> is what exactly it is. there you fucking go it, it is, is what, what it is, is. <laughs> Alex had no input whatsoever <laughs> it is yeah. what it is we all dislike something about ourselves, but it's just like you accept the bad things about you. No, that's the it's thing, just like you. It's it's a reductive question to say what you hate about yourself, you know? Because you gotta like it, it just accept that you are you at a certain point. You know? Yeah. And like my downsides can be the upsides, you know, guys? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all a balance. Caring. You've got upsides, you've yeah. got downsides. No, but like the more you get down on yourself. The more down you go. Yeah. The because worse then you're you down become. on yourself for being down on yourself. Yeah. You know? So yeah. you do, uh, uh, it gets to a point where you got to be like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm me, man. I'm me. Yeah. And that's what you I know, did. You you just got to you got to say sometimes, I'm sorry. I'm funny. Yeah, you have to acknowledge how funny you are. Yeah, you not a just acknowledge but accept. You know? You're on that perfect balance of a bit of ego, but not, but not too much. Yeah. Yeah. Because a, a, a healthy amount of ego will motivate you to keep succeeding. To keep being funny. But too little ego... Then you won't be funny at all. You won't be funny, and you'll put yourself down all the time. I've got ego. To go. Mm, what? Is that like a restaurant thing? Ego to go. Uh... <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. Nice one. Jim looks like Ron Weasley. No, you say that, but I rewatched some of the Harry Potter movies recently, and I look like Ron Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> In some don't. of those... No, no. Young version of me oh, really right. looked like young okay. Ron Weasley. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, I'll show you a picture, James. I look like fucking Ron Weasley. <laughs> like yeah, a yeah. slightly less ugly Ron Weasley. You call him Ron Weasley. You've ugly. got some really weird questions this week. Okay. Really? Shoot. I like, mean, that, that like was what? one of them. It was the statement, Jim looks like Ron Weasley. <laughs> um, well, not even accurate. From so. Jub Jub Want Dub Dub. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Um, this one from Scoomb. Hey, Jar, what's each member's most memorable or quoted television advert? Um, well, Rubens is fucking underdog. Yeah, of course. Auto glass repair, auto glass replace. I was thinking that. Um, what about? Why did that one for all of us fucking? Why was that? Because it's genius. But don't you hate it though when certain adverts they try to make one and yeah. it's like this isn't working. Yeah, I fucking this, hate this that. This is forced right now. Whereas some are like, yeah, auto glass repair, auto glass replace. It just works. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Bang, I love that one. It's my favourite. But, you know, there's bound to be another one. I'll always remember that. Wait, there's Go Compare. That caught on pretty well. Go Compare. 
When you want to eat some beans, you go compare. <clears throat> I can't remember any of us. Okay. Okay. Not the meerkat one, not, uh... No, I can't. But I the meerkat one doesn't have a song. What about, um, the advert before the chase? What's, what's that, um... <laughs> Fuck. It's some bingo advert. <laughs> <laughs> bingo, bingo, bingo bong. <laughs> no, it's like a real song, but they made it about fucking gambling. Fuck those adverts, by the way. <laughs> Fuck if... I... I... <laughs> I have so little respect for the for the chase because of that. Sponsored by fucking gambling. And you know why those adverts are so popular now? Because, like, child underage gambling is on the rise in the UK. Like, big time. Online but, gambling? Yeah. The amount of All sorts I of gambling. Gamble, it's just like, okay. Yeah, it's sick. Fucking, that's wrong. You know? Like, yeah, because yeah, everyone's so and these hopeless. These fucking video UK. games get it in these kids' head from a, ver a, a very early age. It's not even just video games. It's like in every supermarket, there are big things saying "Buy Lotto now." Yeah, you could win all this. And uh, Chuck E. Cheese, Shane Dawson documentary, mm. it's going on about Chuck E. Cheese fucking ding ding dinging, and uh, y you got. Uh, it's good. Whoever first figured out, they like analyze human behavior and managed to figure out, oh, we can like really manipulate people with it's so these concepts. It's so stupid though. Like, the idea is that it's unlikely that you're going to win. But if you do win, you win big. Yeah, but I mean, even if you don't win big, you know, like, it's still a win. No, but it's also designed in such a way where you'll often win a couple quid here and there. Yeah, as, yeah, as yeah. sort of like uh, a breadcrumb fake. to chase. Yeah. yeah, it makes you chase that dragon. But the thing is, like, they wouldn't offer so much money if they weren't making more back. Oh yeah, they make way more money than. So fuck you, own millions. Like how many millions yeah. of people buy yeah. that week on week out, and they're giving away like seventy million, mate. They're fucking like swimming in fucking pools of money. It's a load of shit. But they keep. Do you know what they've done recently? They're like euro millions and stuff. They add another number. So then the percentage of winning is like even smaller. It's like they add like another fucking ten zeros to it to yeah. chance, and then they're still <laughs> making even more money. Yeah, it's fucked. It's a rigged system. I'm, yeah, I have a but that's the point of it. Exactly. The point is that it's rigged. Uh, but but yeah. people don't realise that. No, but they do. But th that's no. what's addictive. It's like so fucked. Is there no people get addicted to the concept of maybe if I just bought one right here right now. Well, yeah. What if that won? Then that could just change everything. Yeah, and life. what if I don't buy this one and that yeah. was the winning one? Do you, do you know anyone who's like bought like a lot of them to, to well, then go from like well, a lot to none? Our parents' friend um, had cancer, and he got some like money from the government, and he spent all of his money, literally everything he had, um, on gambling. <laughs> Because it's it's monetizing hope. That's, yeah, that's the whole thing. And I I have a pretty addictive personality with certain things, mm. but the gambling's gambling, never. Yeah. I've never. I get nothing from it. I've no. never bought a lotto ticket. Neither. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've bought two. Yeah, so nothing. I just thought. Well, because I worked I worked in a supermarket at the place yeah. where people buy them, and I saw, like the the poverty it created. Um, I'm not saying I don't want, I don't want any part it, it of this. It doesn't hook me because it's like, there's no reward. There's no reward to it. Buying a loot box, there's fucking reward. There's something. But with that, you just buy a piece of paper, you put it in the bin. There's, yeah, for me nothing. it's like, well, I could spend loads of money on Lotto, or I could save that money and invest it in things that are more reliable than, you know, a random chance. Like? Like, um... Cans of Coke. Yeah. Or cocaine. Got a minute left, Jim. Any quick ones before we uh, round uh -huh. off? I just found a really good one that's really long. Oh, no. I might screenshot it. Ooh. Yeah. Or I'll copy it. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's that's sort of it then, everybody. I've got an addictive personality problem, though. Just car parts. They're a worse thing to be addicted to. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. They're not. They're obscenely Heroin. expensive, Alex. I could almost afford a house with the money I've pay I've paid on <laughs> aftermarket parts of my car. Oh, dear. Just for Thank you for watching this episode that. of the Jar Media. Or listening. 
Thank you for watching or listening this episode of The Jar Media. Or listening. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Another Bye. shout out to t-shirt people and Patreon people. QTs. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Your patronage is Bro indeed. <laughs> yeah, sort of a subdued one, but we need subdued ones when craziness like last week happens. Good luck. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I did it. I resisted saying douche a single time. That was actually a douche. <laughs> that was actually a funny fucking do you, episode. Do you want Tammy's then?